what's up guys welcome to today's video guys we are in what I call the the dog days of Madden it's that time of year where nobody wants to put a game all they want to do is talk about the new game and your boy could just post bad 15 videos all the time and not worry about you guys who actually like the game and want to get better and I could YouTube video whore and try to get as many views as possible because I'm all about myself but that's not what I'm going to do, guys. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about our scheme of the week. And we're continuing in our series here. We're talking offensive football. We're talking Indianapolis Colts, zone beater. This is the playbook that we like to use for the St. Louis Rams. And the formation that we're in, guys, is the tray open. You don't see a whole lot of tray opens uh, that you can actually get to. But the Indianapolis Colts, one you can for whatever reason. All right, so the play we like to use to beat zone, wide corner, in my opinion, one of the best stock plays in the game. Bold. Uh, but anyways, guys, I do want to emphasize what I said in the beginning. You know, I was kind of kidding around, but I do mean what I said. Um, you know, I am trying really, really hard to provide you guys with videos that actually help you get better at the game. And I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that we don't need the Madden 15, all the Madden 15 news, all that. I, I agree, we do need that. But I, I just want to let you guys know that I'm trying my hardest to provide you with as much Madden content as I can to get you better at the game. So uh, if you guys are liking that, if you like the way that the channel is looking, you like the way that I'm going, you like me as a person, or you just want to help me out and get me to stop getting on your tails. Go over to my Facebook page, like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash MaddenTips365. Guys, I'm really trying to get to 100 likes by the end of the month, and I really uh, would appreciate it if you guys would help me out with that. Uh, a 5,000 subscriber channel should easily be able to get to 100 likes by the end of the month, so I really hope you guys will do that for me. Uh, but with that being said, let's talk about that. Let's focus on this play. I've already ran it enough a little bit for one day, I think, and let's talk about the Y corner. All right, guys, so the wide corner, really quickly, I want to show you why I like this play so much. This route over the middle, wow, what a great way to start it off. Um, that route over the middle is basically the same route as it, that's in shotgun bunch of these spots, is what I was trying to say. But uh, obviously, I got a little ahead of myself. But basically, what we want to do to beat zone, so real quick, we're going to go through a cover two zone, a cover three zone, and a cover four zone. So let's do cover two first. All right, so the only adjustments that we make on this play is we like to take Tavon Austin here. We like to put him on a slant route, okay? That's that's a, another option for us to be man-to-man -man coverage. Now, when we our first read on this play is going to be this little quick pass to Zach Stacy. Typically, that's open almost against almost any zone in the game. Uh, I really like it, especially against cover two, just because in a cover two zone, if you guys don't know, they drop back a little bit more so and give up the underneath because they know that they only have two deep shell. Our second read here coming across the middle is this little slant route underneath to Taven Austin. And there we actually showed you a two-man under on accident, but you do not, that actually is a nice little transition point because that route does beat man-to-man -man coverage. But here against cover two, you're going to see that this route does a pretty nice job at coming in, in, in a really kind of uh, tender area for the cover two. That underneath middle, uh, you know, they, they work so hard to make the over-top middle a little bit more uh, harder to exploit. So now we just take the underneath. Okay, and and if your guy is user controlling him, you know, typically they'll take that slant route and we can f fit this little underneath in route in right behind it. And that's why it's in our progression here. And then lastly, guys, this corner route to Jared Cook is actually not too bad of a read. Uh, I mean, you see here, it does a pretty nice job at getting some separation. The reason that it's a good read is because of all the other routes that we have in the play. And then, uh, just for uh, just for showing you, uh, just to show you this other route, uh, it's not quite as good against the cover two sink. It is still effective. It takes a long time to get down the field. But there you see, that's kind of the only problem that I have with this, is if, if they have a good zone covering linebacker, it's not quite as good in the deep area of the cover two sink. So it's more of a cover three read. Okay, speaking of cover three, let's hop into one and show you the reads through that. So against cover three, remember that our first progression is this little route to the halfback. I'm telling you guys, if you click on, catch that route, uh, it's a really nice little quick pass. It will beat every blitz in the game, and I really enjoy the, that route. And I think this is a very underrated play. I don't see it ran out a lot. I think it's pound for pound the best stock play in the game. There's our slant route. I don't really like the slant route as much against cover three, uh, just because those yellows are kind of underneath, and they they play a little bit more uh, aggressive underneath the uh, hook zones there. Our third read against the cover three is this underneath in route to Givens. I still feel kind of confident in that because the slant route's going to clear out a lot of space. We're going to be able to get the ball in that little area and, and get some positive yards. 
Our fourth read on this play is Jared Cook, and you see he does a pretty nice job against just a regular cover three because he's not going to get pressed because he's in a very unique spot on the field, which is uh, part of why I think that this play is, is still even better because you see that flat zone will never press Jared Cook because it's over here. However, if this guy's in his flat zone and then you had something like this, something like this here, I'm just kind of rambling here, but you see that right there? You see how that could lead to a press on Jared Cook? Let me show you. See that? He's going to get pressed. See that? That's just like every other smash play. But the cool part is that it's not a, that's not a normal. That's them making an adjustment. So it adds a lot of versatility is what I'm getting at. And uh, let's take a look here at this. If they potentially put this corner over here into a curl flat zone. Let's show you what happens. So they put that corner in a curl flat zone. And you see he is actually going to be able to sit on Jer Cook. We still fit it in, but it's not a good look. And that's why we just want to go through our progressions and only throw to the guys that are actually wide open. All right, guys, so on our cover three here, our final read, this is actually my favorite read against the cover three, is this deep post route to uh, Pettis. You, you got to have to work on the timing. Uh, obviously, you know, before we go into game mode, we're going to be having some practice games and showing you this route. But basically, you want to hit it when it comes all the way across the middle. It takes a long time to develop. I mean, it's a, it takes about four seconds. Let's count how much time in the pocket we need. We're going to need 1,001, 1,002. 2003 probably about four seconds so make sure you have time in the pocket um, if you know you're facing cover three and you don't throw that running back a whole lot you might want to consider blocking him but I'm telling you right now this is a really good read against cover three pass lead down to the inside and Trumaine Johnson is being a boss right now uh, almost two interceptions for him the guy's got like 85,000 jump at this point uh, all right so here we go and man Robert Quinn Robert Quinn I can show you this route against cover three. Um, oh my gosh, I threw it way too early. And that's another thing. On next gen, you can't throw stuff early. On current gen, you could. I could have thrown that ball on current gen right there, but on next gen, you can't. You have to really kind of time it out. And uh, there you see now we get the route. And finally, I can show you the backbreaker route, the route that actually is the best route on this play. Uh, but unfortunately, I just haven't been able to show it to you because I haven't had time in the pocket. You have to have a little bit of time uh, to get this route off. If they collapse the pocket like that, that is what it is. But what's going to happen is, is you're going to hit up underneath with all your quick reads if that happens. All right, guys, last last read, uh, read progressions here I want to show you. I want to show you the cover four. Obviously, that running back route is still gold. Five yards, five yards, five yards. You know, if you get five yards in every play, you'll never get stopped. So take advantage of that little quick pass there. It's built into the play. Our second read here, Tavon Austin, not quite as good against the cover four, but still very good. Uh, and there you see, I mean, Tavon Austin on that slant route, I really like that. With his speed and uh, some of the other routes that we're going to have him on in this offense, just does a really nice job for us. Our second route is actually really, really effective. This route to Clyde Gibbons is uh, really good coming underneath the middle there. And then our tight end route, uh, tight end route here. And you see the purple gets sucked down with the motion snap, and that's that's something that I really like about this play. So, I mean, even with that purple zone, you can sometimes fit it in, guys. Uh, definitely want to at least attempt to throw that a couple times just to kind of see what's going on. I mean, that's pretty good. Now, um, and then the last read is the backbreaker route, which I really – I'm going to go ahead and block the, the running back just to give me a little bit more time in the pocket uh, because this pass rush is ridiculous. Wow. Daggone it. This pass rush, man. Too strong. There you see it. So, I mean, it's not as good against cover four. Fact. It's just not quite as good. I mean, especially especially when you have to throw it a little bit earlier than you want to. Uh, you know, it's just not quite as good. But there you see, that's where you want to hit it. And uh, we showed it there against Team and Ender just for fun. Now we'll show it to you against cover four. And there you see it coming across there. So you're going to get hit. You need to have a guy with good catch and traffic there. We're going to show you how to set up our depth chart this weekend for this play. Obviously a very good play, guys. And real quick, I just want to remind you a little bit more. Uh, just because I really, really think that um, this is actually a very good opportunity for you guys. Uh, like me on Facebook. Because you're going to be notified. I'm going to have blog posts. I'm going to have write-ups. Uh, you know, I'm going to have a lot of different things other than just YouTube that I'm going to be doing over the course of this next Madden season. And it's your turn uh, to get there first, guys. Go to Facebook.com slash MaddenTips365, like my page, and stay tuned for some more info on that. We'll talk to you guys later.